What's going on everyone? So Los Angeles Lakers need a center. And ideally a big physical presence, somebody that you could throw out there, kind of give you a different look, but kind of bang with the big boys, the Zach Edies, the Nikola Jokic, right? Particularly in the Western Conference, because like most teams have that kind of European center, you know, Sabonis, a Shangun, right? Somebody that can be crafty around the rim, but also be physical and bane down low, take some pressure off of Anthony Davis to be that guy that has to constantly bane with the big boys. And one guy that I haven't talked about that I've seen many of you mention in the comments in previous videos and stuff, but I personally have never really mentioned primarily because I wanted to see if he was healthy. And that is Steven Adams, right? I was watching, you know, the Spurs Rockets game the other day and watching Wimby try to like box out Steven Adams and it just didn't go well at all. <laughs> like Steven Adams just kind of like, it just was so effortless, right? Like he just kind of like, Stop, kid. Relax. Which, I mean, Wimby weighs as much as, like, Bronny James. So, he's just, like, stop. And, in all in all seriousness, right, like, in all honesty, Steven Adams might be the strongest player in, like, the entire NBA. That dude, right, there's, like, highlight reels of him just picking up players and just, like, moving them places. Like, big, like, setters and stuff where he just, like, picks them up and just, like, sets them down like they're a kid, right? And, I mean, he's 6'11". 265, right? He's solid. He's stocky. He's a guy that can rebound. He gets you, he's averages like four offensive rebounds a game. Right? He would go wonders as far as the rebounding goes. He's a guy that gets you a double double. He's not a guy that is, you know, super skilled around the rim. He's not a guy you dump the ball down to and he's just going to work all game. But he is a guy that, you know, can get you getting double double, right? LeBron driving the hoop, give you the little, little dump. A lob pass, dump pass to Steven Adams, and he can finish around the rim, be physical, kind of finish through contact. Um, he's a guy that can run the floor, run, uh, be a, a role man, set hard physical picks. Uh, he's a guy that I do think would be ideal, right? Would Houston be willing to trade him and give him up? Possibly. He is a unrestricted free agent next season, which is another reason why I like the idea of going and getting Steven Adams. So he's not my favorite option like I want to make that clear he's not a, like he's probably closer to the lower end of the totem pole right Walker Kessler is my number one guy I'd still probably prefer Sabonis or not Sabonis uh Valanchunas just because Valanchunas he is more skilled he can stretch the floor a little bit right he's a guy that can make plays out of the post I just think he is more of an offensive weapon particularly off the bench particularly how bad our bench offense is I, a guy like Valanchunas, I do think could come in and give you, you know, double digit scoring on a nightly basis, maybe, you know, in the, the higher teens. Um, you know, there's a couple guys on the list that I would prefer over. However, I wouldn't hate, like, if we got news tomorrow that the Lakers ended up trading for Steven Adams, sign me up. I, I would be stoked. I would be excited. Because, again, it gives you a big physical center. He's only making uh, 12. 12.6, but let's round it up to 13 because you got to remember the Lakers got to send out more salary than they take back. So you're probably looking at two guys, probably looking at something like, you know, uh, um, you know, would they take like a Gabe Vincent, right? Maybe they take like a Gabe Vincent and maybe a young guy like a Maxwell Lewis or something, right? Now you kind of clear that if you needed to. Um, but point is like you'd, you'd have to work it out with Houston I'm not giving up a first for Steven Adams like if they want like a second you know maybe two seconds sure but I also do like that he's a restrict or that he's an unrestricted free agent next season because it gives you flexibility so if it works great right if it works you can work out a new deal with him you can resign him on a multi-year deal this is what 31 so you know you could sign him for you know three years 30 million something like that. give him like a Valanchunas deal Perfect, cool. Uh, cut a couple million off your off your cap next year. If it doesn't work, you can just let him walk. And especially if you got off like a Gabe Benson or something, you got off of his contract. Now you freed up, you know, thirteen million in cap space next season. LeBron James, he can take basically whatever he needs to take or whatever he's willing to take in order to kind of fudge your numbers. So that way you can go and get a premier free agent or two, or you know, kind of round out your depth better if you need to. Right, just gives you more flexibility in that regard. So. There are pros to Steven Adams, even beyond just his on-court production. 
But can he stay healthy? That's the key, which is why I kind of wanted to, to wait and see. And so far, he's looked good. He's looked healthy. You're not asking him to play a huge role, right? Like, you're just you're looking for him to come in, give you, you know, 15 minutes a game. You know, on nights where Anthony Davis gets the night off, yeah, he's probably starting. You're probably slotting him in in a starting unit, kind of letting him um just kind of bully everybody, help with the offensive rebounding. Lakers have been very good rebounding the basketball, so he would kind of go a long way with that, particularly offensive rebounds. Lakers are really getting after it, rebounding the basketball, which is nice to see. And I just think that a guy like Steven Adams can really kind of help in that department. He's not really this great shot blocker and rim protector, and, you know, he's not like this super you know, mobile big, like he can run the floor. He can do things. He can move. I'm not saying he's just like, or, you know, but he's, he's not, I, he's not like a Jackson Hayes where he's this hyper athlete can be the first big down the floor, all that stuff. Right. He's a guy that, you know, you're looking more for the physical natures. You're looking for him to bang, like beat up on these, these various centers and just you, you come into the paint, giving you a hard foul, right? You're looking for him to basically be what Dwight Howard was, <laughs> right? And the, the 2021, right? A guy that like, yeah, you, you come into the paint, you're getting hurt, right? You, you're getting some contact. You, you, you're taking some, basically just a big physical enforcer presence down on the paint, down on the inside. I don't hate that. Plus a guy that gets you, like I said, double, double, Get you rebounds, putbacks, get you second chance points, rebound the ball, get a kick out. Right, he's really good at rebounding and finding the the guard or finding the guy that needs the ball. So you can see him. Him and Russ worked really well together. I could see like him and D'Lo in the pick and roll. I think would be great. Just kind of just throw it up and let Stephen Adams just bully his way and get it, hammer it home. Him and LeBron running some pick and roll actions, or even him and Reeves. It, it's just it's another option and alternative. Right. Question is again, would the Houston Rockets, would they be willing to trade Steven Adams? I, everybody has a price. I don't think that they're looking at Steven Adams as like an untradeable asset. I don't think they're looking at Steven like, there's no way we're trading Steven. I think Steven Adams is very tradable. Uh, but what does it take? What is the co- Like, if they're like, yeah, we're only trading Steven Adams unless we can get a first. We'll take our chances on him leaving. Then, yeah, it's like, all right, well, good luck to you. Keep Steven Adams. But if it's one of those things where it's like, you know, hey, Throw us two seconds, sure, we'll get it done. We'll make it happen, right? Then, yeah, then absolutely, right? Like, to me, go do that. But do they value his expiry? Do they, if, even if they are willing to trade him, do they do they have an idea in mind of like, okay, we'll, we'll trade him, but because he's $13 million expiring, we want to use him to go get that piece. We want to wait and see if that guy becomes available or that piece becomes available that we're like, okay, let's go get him and add him to the roster to to make us better. Are they kind of just like, hey, you know, we'd rather have the assets that maybe we can use. And even like Gabe Vincent, because some people might be like, oh, well, Gabe Vincent has multi-years. Well, after this year, he only has one year left, so then he becomes a tradable asset at $11 Maybe get some young piece that you can use to, to go and make a trade. I just, I think you, I think if you're the Lakers, you at least pick up the phone, make a call. I think you at least touch base and just go, hey, you know, what do you think about Steven Adams? I would also talk to JJ. Like, if I'm Rob, I'm talking to JJ and going like, hey, what do you think of Steven Adams? You know, do you do you like him more than what we got? Do you think like, yeah, you know, like, if you can, go get somebody else. Obviously, again, I'd rather have a Walker Kessler. I'd rather have a Valanchunas, right? Like, there's other guys that I'd rather have um, opposed to Steven Adams. Even, like, I think there's even an argument for, like, a Clint Capella, I, I just think it gives you better shot blocking, better athlete. I, he's not what he used to be, but he's still, and he's expiring also, so you still have like the, the expiring contract benefits um, that, that you get with Steven Adams. But, you know, he's probably, like I said, kind of lower on the totem pole for me, but I don't hate it. I, I, I think he's a guy that still has a lot of value, can be a real physical presence, which is what the Lakers need. Give you some physicality. You could play him alongside Anthony Davis. You could play him, you know, in place of Anthony Davis at times. Just put him on, you know, hey, hey, we're playing Denver tonight. Adams, you're starting, right? You're starting at the five. Let's take some pressure off of off of Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis could be the help. Um, and then you just don't get bullied by Jokic all game. I think that 
to do wonders <laughs> for the Lakers, to just have him. Because, again, I mean, he's arguably the strongest player in the entire NBA. That dude is just, he is a monster. That dude is a mammoth, right? Like, you see people try to move him. He's just like, nope, right? Like, you see him just, like, moving grown men out of the way. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing to see sometimes. Like, just watching Wimby do everything he can to just try to move this immovable object. <laughs> it was just like, I'd love to see him in a purple and gold jersey. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, and I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you think, like, yeah, go get Steven Adams. Steven Adams is the guy. He's the guy we need to, to just be that big physical presence uh, and, and in the interior, uh, he's a guy that can make a lot of sense in that regard. Do you think, nah, like, stay away from Steven Adams. He's not the guy. Uh, we need we need other things. Um, no, go get a pony up. Go get a Walker Kessler. Just wait for, like, a Valanchunas. Get just more offensive versatility, which, again, which is why I would prefer those two over Steven Adams. Just because I, I just, I like just looking at the bench and, like, what we need. I just, I think that we we could use the offensive versatility that those two guys bring. But, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me not. Helps me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.